welcome to another caffeinated entertainment video. It's Art here with my winter 2018 uh, book haul. First, I'm going to start with a book that I actually got in the early part of January. Um, this is Klomsky Heights by um, Lionel Davidson. It Its forward is by uh, Philip Pullman of the Golden Compass fame, and this was recommended to me by Anthony Horowitz, the same author that, read, that writes the Alex Ryder series, The Magpie Murders, House of Silk, and Trick or Mortis, and the upcoming Bond novel, whose title has yet to be released. I was talking to him on Twitter, and he, was re he just had finished reading this when he recommended it to me, and it um, was tops on his list, so that is book Number one, and ladies and gentlemen, the book toss is back. It's been a while for the book toss. Let me, excuse me while, while I reposition here for a second. There we go. But the book toss is back. Yeah, buddy. All right, now let's get to the meat and potatoes of the book haul. Alright. So I got, for Christmas, I got a bunch of Barnes & Noble gift cards, which I used in one foul swoop, because why wouldn't you, when there's plenty of books. I got the breakdown by B. A. Paris. I wanted to try out B. A. Paris's writing, and the breakdown was cheaper than behind closed doors. Now, if I like the breakdown, I will obviously go go on and read behind closed doors. But I couldn't pass up this nice, nice. Uh, I don't know anything about this thriller. I'm kind of reluctant to read the um, cover flap. Ooh, the tagline is, if you can't trust yourself, who can you trust? So, I think I'm going to like that. So we... Shall see. Let's see who B.A. Paris is. B.A. Paris is the New York Times and USA Today internationally best-selling author of Behind Closed Doors. She grew up in England, but has spent most of her life in France. She has worked both in finance and as a teacher and has five daughters. The Breakdown is her second novel. Wow, so she's a very accomplished lady above and beyond her books. That's awesome. But let's let's not digress. Let's um, continue on with the books, shall we? I think we shall. This one, this next one, has been seen around Booktube and it caught my interest Um, because it's got, uh, I believe it has something to do with superheroes, and that caught my interest. You'll have to forgive me if I'm wrong there. I try to go into books, if I can get it off, out of the strap there. I try to go into books without, uh, good Lord. I try to go into books without knowing too much of said synopsis. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! But this is uh, Ornegades by Marissa Meyer. Uh, I decided to go ahead and try some of her writing, and Superheroes was up my alley. Now, her Cinder, Scarlet, Crest, and Winter series probably won't be because I'm not a fairy tale type person, but I am 
a um, a superhero type person. So I will probably be reading this very very soon to see if I actually want to um, continue on with her work and hopefully she writes more stuff like Renegades. Hopefully this is a new series and not a, and not a standalone. Like I said, I haven't gotten. I did get the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition with the author interview, which I will probably read at the end of the book. So let's book toss it. Or not. It's too heavy a book to try to cause. I'm, a, I'm afraid I won't make it. So let's... I pretty much know what's in here, but let's pull a book out of the grab bag. And see what's in there. Oh! This series I love. This is the fourth or fifth book in the Hamish Macbeth series, Death, Death of a Liar. Um... I love these books. I think they're great. And even though they're a series, they read more like one-offs and they're hilarious. Uh, <laughs> just by the photo of a lady laying behind lettuce or a cabbage or whatever that is. But makes me chuckle. But yeah, it's got the old Scottish village feel to it. Kind of the Doc Martin feel to it. Um... And I decided to pick this up because I was like, it was cheap enough. It was one of your $8 cheapy paperbacks. And I love this series very much. That I will probably make sure I get to this as fast as possible. I knew it. Open. This book was recommended to me by a reading group I belong to, and this is um, *Memory Man* by David Balducci, or Balducci, Balducci, however you say his name. Sorry, folks. Uh, the camera battery cut out right as I was getting to the last two books. So let me get back to um, David Baldacci's Baldacci Baldacci Memory Man. Um, David Baldacci's Memory Man is the first in his. Uh, Anus something serious. Let's read the back here. Well, there's nothing, um... An Amos Decker novel. It's the first in his Amos Decker series. Um... And I can't wait to read it. It was recommended to me, like I said, by a person that was in my reading group that I belonged to. And they recommended it, and I picked it up solely on their recommendation. You have to forgive the dog. She's blind and old. She's probably barking right outside my door. Um, and Lord knows what she's doing there. But I can't wait to read this. I've never read any David Baldacci. Baldacci, Baldacci, well, ever you say that. I'm telling you, authors should come with pronunciation guides. Am I not right, people? And the final book in the book haul video is actually a collection of short stories. It's the paperback version of No Middle Name by Lee Child. It is the paperback version of his short story collection that he came out with last year. Of course, he is the author, and this is a Jack Reacher short story collection, as you can fully well see. And I cannot wait to dig into this one. I love me some Jack Reacher. As you all know by my review of The Enemy and Midnight Line, I love me some Jack Reacher and more Jack Reacher 
will be appearing on this channel guarantee. Uh, I know that this was an ebook short story collection that they uh, finally decided to print and I decided to add it to my collection. I have a growing collection of Lee Child paperbacks and hardbacks for that matter when they're cheap enough. Uh, but that is the book haul for winter 2018 so far. It's been a long time since I've done a book haul on this channel. Let me know what you would like to see me read and review next. Or re read and review first. I will see you all next time. Remember, I'm, I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Until then, happy reading and peace.